Hey everyone, welcome to my front Aussie foot video. Um, if you're new here, you're lucky because this one has been in high demand for like over a year. <laughs> I think I posted my rear foot one like a year ago. So finally getting around to showing you how to trim a front Aussie foot. Um, so first we're going to start off with, well first not in the video, make sure you have their toenails trimmed. Um, so I already did that. And I do have a video for how to do that. If you want to watch that, um, I can link it down below. Um, so that's already done. So now we need to clean up the pads before we start trimming the foot. Um, so I'm using just a regular clipper, but you can also use scissors for this. Not thinning shears, you want to get all the hair out. It doesn't have to be pretty. This will also help with um, their traction and tracking dirt or whatever into the house so it's always just too good to clean this up anyways just make sure not to get any of those feathers accidentally all right that's done all right now for trimming the rest of the foot um first i'm just going to do the toe foot area um, this is actually done the same way as the rear. Uh, so you're going to get your slicker brush and brush the whole foot up. Make sure it's still in view. Alright, in case you didn't see that, slicker brush up. Um, also, before I get started, I have found a new um, thinning shear that I really like. This is the Artero 7-inch Onyx pair, um, and I've really enjoyed these thinning shears. It's, I don't know if I said 7-inch, um, but I'll link, send a link for that. So we're just going to go around cleaning up all that hair. You want it to look like, some people say a cat foot, basically a compact, oval, well-arched foot. I do not like to see the toenails, so I only trim as far as uh, the toenail goes. So I'm kind of going, finding the toenail here and just trimming as far as that'll let me go. And then from there, rounding it out. This may take you a few times to do. Um, you come back and just slicker it up again. You can see it kind of start to take shape already. You can also use straights here. Um, it will make the process go a lot faster. If you've got steady hands and are experienced in that, you can use some straight scissors. Once you have pretty much uh, trimmed up the foot with the thinning shears, the next thing you want to do is take your straights or your curves and go along the bottom edge of the foot. So I think in my rear foot video I was using some little ones um, and I've actually since lost those <laughs> so I'm back to using my big ones here. But the point here is just not to use your thinning shears. Want this to be a clean cut. So do both sides, all the way around the foot. All right. So once you have the foot, bottom of the foot trimmed up, um, next step is to do this back here. So there's a few different shapes that I've seen floating around the ring. Um, one of the ones that are that I really like is when it is a continuous line from the feathers into the bottom of the foot. Um, sometimes I'm not able to do that because it, a lot of the dogs don't grow a lot of thick hair right here. You can kind of see he's actually like doesn't grow a lot of hair there. Um, so it just depends if that looks going to work for you. If not, um, I've seen some other people, you know, trim uh, back, excuse me, trim back there a little um, tighter. So I'll kind of show you what I do with him. 
um, on the back here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this is all brushed out, slicker, already slicker brushed it, take a thin comb, make sure there's no knots, and brush it straight out. And then take a pair of, you can use thinning shears, but I um, tend to just go straight for the, the straight shears. And just trim the edges very carefully, kind of angling downward. Not straight down, but more of an angle. And that kind of gives it a more clean finish. And also like gets those split ends off. Um, so that's pretty much all I do for the feathers. Just tip the ends there if they're touching the ground or just always tip the ends. It'll, it'll give it a much healthier look. Now for the rest of the foot. So you can kind of see here, it looks like he's low on his pasterns. Um, so I'm gonna trim that a little tighter on him. Also really important for this step to make sure that your dog is standing up over himself. So right now he's, he's pretty much kind of straight. He's not posting, which is leaning back and he's not terribly far forward. Um, but in the ring, we have bait. Uh, let me grab some. So you have bait and you're baiting your dog, they're going to pull forward. So you can see already that that lifted him off the ground. Um, so you just want to kind of be wary of where your dog's foot is before you trim this area so that if he's like posting or being lazy, you don't trim too much off. And then when he stands up, you have like no hair. <laughs> um, so just use some bait and kind of look and pull him forward and then you'll know how much to trim off. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is same process as the rear. Um, so I'm going to pick his foot up and I'm going to trim off the hair that is next to the big pad on his foot. So on either side of the big pad, I'm going to trim just that hair off right there. And then same on the other side which I kind of already got with the clippers. Um, and this is when it comes to the personal preference. So you can trim it to where it's also angled like the feathers, where it's kind of like a continuous line. Or you can trim, if you push these feathers away, you can trim the hair under this big pad. They have another pad up there. Trim the hair under that pad basically all off, kind of like hawks are trimmed. Totally up to you, personal preference. Take a look at dogs you like, um, their foot trimmed and kind of see what they do. Um, I like to start out first just trimming it off at an angle using thinning shears. I'm just kind of going from there. So I can see there's a little bit of a hair sticking out right there. And it's kind of good for when they move because you can nat you can see where the hair is going to naturally fall. Now if I don't want such a, it almost looks like a, like a box almost. It's like long hair, long hair, and then it kind of juts in. Um, so I'm going to cut some off on the back here just to kind of give him some natural layers here. <laughs> so that it falls more nicely into the rest of the rest of the foot. So I'm going to trim a little bit more off probably underneath Basically go a little bit at a time until you're kind of satisfied with it. Um, make sure to keep getting the bait out and pulling them forward so that you see exactly what it's going to look like in the ring. Now from this front view, um, one thing I failed to mention, when looking at the feathers or looking at the leg from the front, let's see if we can zoom in a little there. You want to make sure that the Feathers aren't sticking out on either side. So when you're looking at the foot, you want to see like a, just the foot column. 
If there's any feathers sticking out over here, you would trim them off. Same with in here, you would trim those feathers off. So looking at him, it looks like his elbow hair does stick out a little bit. Um, so basically just following the foot, don't trim this too heavy because you'll see it. Just trim that hair off that's sticking out so that when they view it from the front, you won't see, it, it won't look like he's turning out or he elbows out or he's got a bow leg or something. Um, make sure when you're looking at the front foot, you only see the, the foot and not feathers all sticking out. It also depends on how dogs like to lay. Sometimes like their feathers will have a cow look and it'll be sticking out like that. Um, so you just want to kind of brush it out, but also see where it naturally falls when they move. You could take them off the table and, and see where it falls as well. Um, and if they have any of this feathering sticking out, you just want to take your thinning shears and trim that off. So looking from the side, I'm pretty happy with that look. And then looking from, oh, goodness gracious. Looking from the front, it looks like, it's hard to see from your angle. <laughs> But it does look like some of his feather, his white feathers are sticking out a little bit. So I might trim those in. So you do want to be careful because the more, if your dog doesn't have a lot of feathers, um, you want to have a prettier look. You don't want to trim too much of those feathers off. All right. So I think if you look at, you can kind of see in this view compared to his, um, his right leg, the one he just moved. Um, you can see his, his tan feathers stick out more than his white feathers do on his leg I trimmed. Um, so that's kind of the look you want to go for. You want to make sure it's a clean straight, straight line, nothing's sticking out. Um, right, so that was kind of a painful video back going at it, a lot of technical difficulties, but hopefully I have satisfied what you guys wanted. Um, if you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to reach out. I also do uh, grooming classes in person, and I'm starting to do virtual grooming lessons as, as well. So people anywhere in the country, we can do through Zoom um, and kind of learn how to trim your dog. Uh, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.